Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is November 3rd, 2023, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets rally even higher. But first, looking at today's major economic events, so we have scheduled the 2.30 South African time out of the United States, non-farm payroll numbers coming out. Now looking into this major number, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pair is pretty much unchanged as we look at the indices, both the Dow Jones and NASDAQ rally nicely yesterday. And looking at commodities, gold remains unchanged, while oil bouncing. Now looking at the stocks, the most of the stocks went up, but there are some that went up higher than others. We're gonna take a look at that. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin makes that correction from that spike the other day. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go with the euro usd not much of a change here it is at the upper range of its range okay it's trading a 106 30 ish level so if it does push out higher that could be a possible play today now i just want to highlight this the gbp yesterday came out with its official bank rate okay we're looking at a daily nothing really happened i mean yes we bounced off of our lows but we're still trading within this very tight range so the next real resistance ish level is this 122 ish. We're sitting on it right now. Now, if we push up higher, the next real resistance ish level is 122.70 ish level. That's the next real resistance ish level. So keep that in mind. Now, looking at the US markets, oh, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the commodities first. Gold remains unchanged. 1988 in a $4 range, not much doing there. Now, looking at crude oil, did bounce nicely. 81 to 82.96 almost a two dollar balance so that was pretty decent yesterday for oil as that has now corrected itself from our downwards momentum now looking at the u.s markets there we go the dow jones climbs even higher to 33,900. remember this was a 32,400 ish level okay so this is a pretty decent ascent over 16 to 1700 points on the upside so Looking at the U.S. markets, also the NASDAQ trading at 14955 Remember, 16600 is the high. So we still have way to go there, but we've made a big comeback. 14900 15000 about. And looking at the individual stocks. So not everything went across the wall. Okay, Apple did come out with its disappointing earnings and is down in after-hour market about $67, so just be aware of that. Now, looking at the rest of the markets, what did go up? Okay, so Tesla went up nicely, breaking that downwards momentum to 218. That really did gain some momentum on the upside. JP Morgan, the banks, Bank of America, also had a nice pivot upside. Microsoft, pushing even higher, 348. That's a very decent breakout there. Uh, but not everything went up, okay? Uh, Facebook did not go up. Okay, Facebook just traded sideways yesterday at 13.10. Okay, so that really just gave up some of its gain for there. So, and lastly, let's take a look at Amazon. Amazon still remaining resilient. Remember, Amazon came out with very decent earnings. And we are going into the busiest shopping month of the year. Okay, between Thanksgiving and Christmas is the busiest shopping session for the year and that is quite anticipated whether or not consumer spending is going to be sustained at these levels so that is something that everybody is taking a look at so be aware of it now lastly looking at bitcoin just petered out okay basically back on its supportish level okay if we call it that 34,400 level we're just dipping below that right now so this is just made that correction on that pivot up but it's kind of lost its way here. So keep that in mind, all right? But if it does move below 33,600, then there could be a break to the downside. So this could be like just a pivot up and then to a later dump. So this could be something that will develop itself as well. Not much going here. Technically wise, there's very little that I could say about it because nothing really to trade it against. And technically speaking, it's been in this very tight range and hard to really make it into some sort of character. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.